Well, a long morning of working the edges of these desert washes from the flat tops. And uh, now I'm gonna take and head back to the truck. I'm gonna take it's uh, about 9:20 in the morning. I'm gonna drive down to the next wash about a mile away and do the same thing. Work the edge with my binoculars, looking down, trying to locate a group or so of uh, mule deer. So I drove down to this other wash about a mile and a quarter away and climbed up onto a small knoll. And using my binox, I spotted a group of about six deer. One of them was a small buck. So I crossed over to this flat top here and I'm coming up to the edge to look over where the deer went to see if there's a bigger buck uh, with that group of deer. As I get closer to this edge, I hear the rocks roll and then just over the horizon near this little ravine cut, I see a, a little bit of a dust cloud. So I think they heard me coming and they spooked. You can see just to the right there the deer trails that come together at the top of the screen in that little cut and the deer went through there and dropped down into the next one. I worked my way up onto this finger ridge so I'm looking down there and way across there about 800 yards out I see the group of deer they're at the base of that hill in the distance on the edge of the wash. I don't want to get much closer because then I'll be silhouetted against the horizon so at this point they really haven't spotted me they're just moving normal they're heading back to their bedding ground here they've left the wash i think they've gone up and over but i get to get up here and around the corner and see if i can put eyes on them through the binocs i spotted a pretty nice buck a big mature buck that was tall and wide had about four by four on each side so i'm going to try to crest this hill see if i can see them and if not, get up on top of the flat. Here I am on top of the flat. I'm moving along, trying to cut these deer off. And there in the distance, oh, probably 600 plus yards away, I see a group of deer. And in the back are two very big bucks. So I'm gonna to try to zoom in here. It's quite a ways away for the camera, but here you can see the two bucks. One sort of a light gray and the other has a little dark hide to it. And they're moving across here in front of me to my right. And pretty soon you'll see them cross in front of that one of these green bushes to the right here before they go down over into the next wash. And there they're crossing in front of the bush. And down they go. I make my way over to the edge of the wash here looking down for those deer. I can't, I can't spot them, but I'm checking out the shadows. So I don't know if they've gone up this wash or not, but uh, I'm trying to figure out at this point which of these four washes the deer are going to go into and move up into and bed for the day. And I can put together a plan for the late afternoon evening to circle around and come in from behind them there. But working my way down this steep ridge line, this knife edge, it's a lot steeper than it looks on camera. One misstep here could be pretty treacherous. Wouldn't want to roll down this hill. Here I've made it down into the bottom of the desert wash, so I'm working my way along the trail that these deer left uh, from up on top of the edge up there on the hill I could look down, glass down, saw a couple does bedded in the shade of this big tree and as that group of six deer come by those does, uh, the two does joined them. You can tell the tracks here are pretty splayed in the sand so these deer are definitely on the move. And here I'm coming up to this shady tree where the two does had bedded before joining the other deer. I know I won't catch up to the deer at this point, but I'm just trying to make a determination of where 
they're going to go to bed down. Obviously, I spooked them the first time, so that's changed their bedding plan. So just got to make a decision here of where they're going to go and make out a uh, hunt plan for the afternoon and the evening. I can tell the deer have been using this wash quite a bit. The wash is just covered with tracks and with deer scat. I've made my way around to the shady side of one of these little finger ridges and the deer have split up. I'm still on the two tracks of the two big bucks, but the does and fawns, they split off to the left here. So I'm following the buck tracks because that's what I'm interested in. And they're working their way up along the shady side of this wash, which is pretty typical of what bucks will do. Uh, they like to move in the shadows out here in the desert if there are any shadows. So I'm going to follow them around the edge here because up at the top of this wash it splits in about three different directions. I've got to determine which of those three splits or washes that these two bucks took and then come up with a plan later to see if I can stalk into them. I had spotted the deer out about 300 yards from me, the two bucks, and then all of a sudden they just dropped out of sight. I couldn't see them anymore. Upon arriving to where I last saw them, I can see why. There's a six, seven foot ledge here and the deer are working their way right along this ledge. And uh, from where I was in my other vantage point, I couldn't even see the tips of their antlers. So it's a pretty big ledge. But the two bucks are working their way around. And again, you can see how they're working in the shadowed areas. This wash is the first of the three splits. But then it also splits up here about another few hundred yards away. The blessing here is the deer are actually working their way closer to my truck. So it's cut my hike back to the truck in half. Heard some rocks roll here up above me, so I turned to look. But the glare of the sun is uh, preventing me from seeing anything. But those rocks were moved to my right. But these buck tracks are headed to the left. And here I see a pile of fresh deer poop. Yeah, and it's sticking to the bottom of my boot. So this, I'm assuming this is from one of those two bucks. It's pretty fresh. And the bucks look like they're working their way to the left. So I think those rocks moving to my right. I don't think these are the two bucks, but I'm going to follow them and see. Working my way to the left, here's a deer trail here going up to the left that the two big bucks tracks are on. And I come across another pile of deer poop. Yeah, it's fresh. But the poop is in a pile instead of being scattered for two or three feet. So this tells me the deer have slowed down and they actually stopped. When well, I worked my way out of the desert to a half a mile here below my truck where I parked this morning. So I only had about a half mile walk to get back to the vehicle. But I parked here and took this wash road up there about a mile and a half. And then I cut in and hit those high hills and worked my down those ridges right above the wash here to right across from the truck where over there I saw a single bed of doe and then down this way I saw those two donkeys and then the single donkey hit the road and worked my way back. It's 11 a.m. Boy am I bushed and glad to be back to the truck. Mav Hunter out.